So let's have a look at this Arduino Uno and uh, see what it's made up of. So along here we've got digital pins. See it says digital. And the numbered. We've got the serial in and out pins. For the ICSP programmer, so that's a way of programming this chip while it's on the board to put the bootloader on. So the first thing the Arduino does when it starts up is it looks for the bootloader, executes that, which will then launch your program, your sketch, or your script, whatever you want to call it. So as mentioned before, we've got the USB, got a power jack, so it's a regular 9 volt power jack DC. As you can see, we've got the analog inputs. And this is one of the things that makes Arduino special and very useful. It allows you to have not just on and off binary, but it allows you to have a graduated amount of sensor readings. So, for example, the temperature or the light, instead of saying it's warm, it's cold, or it's light or it's dark, you can say it's 23 degrees Celsius. Then you've got three volts, you've got five volts, you've got the ground. And when you attach anything external to it, you have to make sure that you tie the grounds together so that everything's grounded together. As we said before, we've got the 18 mega chip. But as well as the 18 mega chip, the Uno R3 has another AVR chip to handle the USB to serial. And it's got its own ICSP there, so you can actually program this chip, chip separately. You've got a reset button, and you've got an onboard LED. And as you can see on the back, got some print in here, just says it's designed and assembled in Italy and it's open source hardware. So when people say a clone or a knockoff, don't listen to them because it's open source.